It's been over 20 years since Acura had the Integra nameplate here in America, and while fans have been waiting a long time, Acura has finally delivered a replacement. I'm here in Los Angeles, California. This is the 2023 Integra prototype. Let's take a first look. Now the Integra name is very important to Acura because remember the brand launched with the Integra back in 1986. So it's been part of their lineage for so long. And sadly, we haven't seen it since 2001. So to see the car back for 2023 or it's coming next year is a really important deal for fans. I've been personally excited for an all new Integra. Now let me start about, let's talk about the design of this prototype. Now keep in mind, this is a prototype. Acura will of course update us with a full production model sometime next year. But I love how Acura traces back to its lineage here with a couple of things. You can see Integra is spelled out here on the front bumper right under the headlights, just like how it always was on the previous generations of the car. You have the latest version of Acura's signature jewel eye LED headlights. The LED daytime running light, as you can see, is a slightly different design where the actual running light element is on the top portion instead of the lower portion. You have LED low and high beams. And you can see this model here also has LED fog lights. Now, the one thing that Acura also wanted to talk about is the grill. The Diamond Pentagon grill that we all know is now a frameless design. And I have to say, in this indie yellow color with the black, with the diamond uh, pentagon inserts or the diamond inserts, it makes for a really elegant, classy look. Acura says you can expect this new design detail to be showing up in all of their new models, of course, moving forward. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the styling. Now, of course, you're probably wondering as an enthusiast, what's going on underneath the hood? Acura didn't have too much in terms of details. The base engine will be a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. That's the same engine, of course, that we know on the Honda Civic. They didn't talk about any specs. But remember, Integras have always been built off of Civic platforms, but they did mention that the standard transmission will be a six-speed manual. So, of course, manual enthusiasts can rejoice because Acura will make a manual transmission as standard. Now, if you follow me over to the side of the vehicle, you can see this is going to be smaller than the TLX. This car officially replaces the Acura ILX when it goes on sale sometime early next year. Uh, and this particular one here is a four-door. Acura didn't talk about whether a two-door was coming, but I want you to notice one thing here. The roof has kind of like a sloping area here because this is going to be a liftback. Now, sadly, I can't open up the trunk to show you guys the actual space. I'll be able to do that at a later time, but you can see here with the blacked out roof, this prototype has just a standard size sunroof. I was kind of hoping Acura would do a full panel roof, but that's something that they say is a low take rate uh, for actual consumers. Now, you're also probably noticing on the rocker panels, it spells out Integra. There's a graphics package. This is a really early prototype, so I don't suspect that'll actually make it to the production model. The wheels, as you can see, this model here, I'm not entirely sure if these are going to be standard, as you can see, but they are a nicely designed 19-inch wheel wrapped in 235 with tires with the black finish with the yellow painted Brembo calipers at the back. So again, early prototypes, so we're not entirely sure what the actual production model will look like. Now, looking at the rear of the vehicle, you can see I love the overall shape. A lot of you actually mentioned in the comments that it kind of looks like a Genesis Coupe. I would actually agree with that, which is not a bad car to kind of look like. Genesis has been doing amazing jobs, of course, with their styling. You really can see the coupe-like proportions. You have these full LED taillights here, which have a mimic to the chicane style for the LED, the uh, actual taillight modules. These are LED turn signals, Acura tells us. And you can see here underneath here, this is where you'd reach into open up the trunk gate. You can see here Integra is also proudly spelled out at the back right underneath the tail lights. That's something that is an homage to the original model. And then these dual exhaust tips, it's painted yellow on the inside, but again, really early, early prototype, but Acura did say that's what the exhaust will actually look like when the actual production model goes on sale. Now, I did want to show you the interior of this vehicle, but sadly, Acura says it wasn't ready. Remember, the current generation Civic already has a really nice interior, so you can expect the new Integra to kind of take it a step further, perhaps a larger infotainment system. Perhaps it'll also have wireless CarPlay, all LCD screens. We won't know until we get closer to the on-sale date, which will again be sometime next year. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, what is the powertrain, the optional powertrain is going to be like? Right now, Acura only wanted to talk about the 1.5 Turbo. They did say this is just the beginning, so you can expect a Type S model to eventually make its way here. Acura did confirm that the base model will be front wheel drive. It'll come standard with a limited slip differential, which is nice. It almost sounds like it's basically the same powertrain from the Honda Civic Si, which is a great place to start. Now, speaking of which, if you guys are looking to get your hands on this vehicle, Acura says it'll you can expect it to show up at dealers sometime in mid-2022. And they also already had an announced a starting price. This will start at around $30,000 for the base version, which is a great place to start. Remember, this is going to be the new gateway into the Acura lineup, and it's a replacement for the Acura ILX. But 
with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my full first look overview on the 2023 Integra prototype. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook, and as always, guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.